Good evening. My name is Dr. Joshua Michael Allen Chawner. I am the head of Hamster Productions and creator of the animated short, The Barracuda Heist. I wish to make it clear right now that this video is in no way intended to be a guide for those who wish to do stop motion at home. Indeed, I do not recommend that anybody replicate any of the actions performed in this video. Enjoy. The World Health Organization has officially called it COVID-19. This evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. More than 40,000 people have been infected worldwide. Just because you can do something doesn't mean it's sensible in any way. So, lockdown had been announced in the UK. After four years of hard work, I finally managed to get my PhD thesis finished and sent off. With the whole country in lockdown, it seemed like a good time to rediscover the joy of Lego animation. When it was safe to do so, I took a trip to see my old Lego studio. It was safe to say that it'd seen better days. The Lego was all over the place, and the storage system was beginning to partially collapse. So, I boxed it all up and took it back to Lancaster. My brother Jacob came to live with me in my quarantine bubble, and we began the huge task of cleaning all of the Lego. <laughs> oh, wow. That's pretty good. soon on I found that the cabinets themselves started to buckle under the weight of all the Lego so I had to fix straps to the bottom of the drawer units to keep them together. Things were starting to open up again, and my brother Jacob left Lancaster to continue his studies in architecture. Before starting the project, I'd actually already developed a lot of the story in my mind, but before filming can start, I need to get it all written down and come up with a proper plan. This is my world, step inside. Music is cool and easy. You've got to dance, believe me. So we are in the middle of a global pandemic. I've handed in my thesis, uh, but because I can't go on holiday, I've just built my own Caribbean holiday right here in the studio. Look at that. I don't need to travel anywhere. I can just build it here. Positive vibes are flowing. This is my world, step inside. There is no need to hurry This is my style, don't worry This is my world, step inside Come in Come in Come in Come in Come to my parents Nice. 
for the interior of the boat, I actually created an entirely separate set. The process of stop motion animation essentially involves taking individual images of the subject and between each image moving the subject by one frame of animation. Then when you play back all the images at 15 frames a second, you get motion. For the scene where the pirates are using the capstan to pull the boat forward via the anchor, I actually had the chain connected to the set behind the boat, so as the boat slid forward, the chain remained tight throughout. What's up? What are you doing? For the vertical tracking shot, I used this really cheap tripod that had this built-in crank, uh, and that allowed me to adjust the vertical position of the camera. Although unfortunately, I had to manually correct the rotation of the camera for every single image. We're gonna need a bigger studio. So the plan is to take this, this table, and the backdrop and everything, and the, and the, the lights, uh, and I'm gonna bring it through my bedroom okay and that's the plan so hopefully I'm gonna get some help and we're gonna we're gonna make this a reality How are you doing? For the large splash effects, I would build each frame of the splash out of Lego bricks and replace them as I needed them into the shot. So when played back, it created an entire splash animation. Something that's been a problem, I'm on the first floor of this building and there are floorboards underneath this carpet. The camera kind of moves just a little bit as I walk around the room. Basically, I need to make sure I sit in the same place every time I take a picture because if I don't, there's a little movement in the camera. It's an absolute nightmare. So a little trick I did for this interior shot, I annotated an arrow for every 15 frames. Now I film at 
15 frames a second. So that means that these are exactly one second apart. And essentially, every time the grandfather clock is in frame, I make sure the pendulum swings at that arrow, you see like that. So we play from the beginning and we'll see the, the ticking of the clock. Dun, 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 dun. So it keeps in sync uh, as we go through all the frames. Okay, so I'm doing this shot. Now, this rope does not stay tight on its own. The ropes um, come here, engage with these um, Lego pulleys, and in reality, they would connect to the yard arm. Um, but of course, this is just a model, and it's not important that it actually works in that way, because I'm just gonna animate it. So I can just re-tighten the rope, like so. Perfect. Let's see what that looks like. So you can see here, I have my humidifier, keeps the room at 50% humidity and it just goes straight into the fan, into the studio and I can feel lovely and cool all day. My clumsy knee bumped into the corner of the set and like the whole thing is beginning to collapse. Oh my goodness, how am I even gonna... Okay, let's just... Easy it on up, there we go. Yeah, okay. If I just put those massively burdened pillars there... You know, if I... <laughs> if I need it, I can rebuild it. I actually stuck a ruler to the screen so I could keep the cannonball in the line. I used several different rulers to measure out the large boat movements to keep them consistent. Okay, it's uh, another lovely day in the Hamster Production studio, uh, and I've had what could be described as a um, minor mishap. Keep my film camera here. It was quite tall, and it fell over, and now all of this is destroyed. I think at this point, I just want to see the film finished and I just want to share it with you guys. I feel like I'm a month or two away from that moment and it's going to be beautiful. Morning guys, I'm having a bit of a lion. The animation's progressing well. I should only be filming for another week or two now and then it will just be the editing. 
but if I've learned anything in this process, it's that I seem to massively underestimate how long things will take to do. I should get up. I should really get up. So, look at this. I'm sat here, got my coffee, got the controls for the screen there. This is filming a time-lapse. Here's the actual camera, just here. I have to make sure I do not touch that. Uh, this is a hazard. I've got to make sure I don't trip on that. This ship is going to be crashing into this building. I've no idea how I'm going to animate that. I'm just going to have to make it up as I go along. Hope for the best. Then I've got this ship in the background, and I only realised this last minute, but this ship is, of course, in the shot. So, yeah. Wish me luck, everyone. It just so happened that my big push to finish all of the filming coincided with the Lancaster Music Festival. I started this shot at 12 noon today. It's a nice looking shot, I'm very happy with it, but I finished just now and it's now 7 p.m. So I've been working for seven hours straight to film that one shot. Guys, this is so satisfying. I've got my storyboard here. And I've basically done everything. I'm just ticking off. So, uh, Black Sea's Barracuda, course towards harbour entrance. Done. Black Sea Barracuda steers, deploys sails, tilts, smashes through, it's treasure. All of these have been done. Uh, Admiral's daughter puts on her. Oh, I decided not to do that in the end, so. Yeah. Full sail. Yeah. So it's now three o'clock on a Friday. I've finished the filming and now I'm having a nap and later I'm gonna hopefully go to the pub to celebrate. I just wanna destroy all of the Lego now. I've just had my nap and a shower and I'm feeling a little bit more awake. Got a cup of tea. But I've just found out that my thesis that I submitted for my um, PhD earlier this year has won the IOP Low Temperature Group Thesis Prize. Joint winner, alongside David Perkins, so shout out to him. But yeah, what a day. I finished the filming, and my thesis has won a national award. So there's nothing left for me to do now, except have a lovely drink. So basically, like, like a command, like, READY THE GUNS! READY THE GUNS! Okay. Oh, I keep moving it. Oh, can you not? <laughs> so, let's just remind ourselves of the shot. Do you mind actually giving me the, a bit more of the context of the scene? Because I don't need a, a second shot. Your character is loading a gun. Like, I basically need you to make a sound like you're making effort, okay? okay. Yeah. 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 What should my expression be like? Should you not be doing something right now? Uh, like, further from the mic, I think. Because I think that maxed out. Yeah. FIRE! So it's like a... 
And then, uh... I'm yeah. Sure. Ha! Ha ha! But that deeper and broader on guard might work. Okay. It's kind of like, on guard. I think this kind of plan, like, like... Ah! Ah! You've absolutely Mwah. nailed Perfection. it. Perfection. Perfect, oh, perfect. I knew it. Just try, like, uh... <laughs> like... <laughs> here! Yeah! Again. Yeah! It's like a... <gasps> A little bit closer to the mic. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, go. Oh! <laughs> you want bigger action. Bigger action. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't change the face expression, but it is still. <laughs> it is still kind of. It's it's, it's just a smile. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I needed. That's it? <laughs> Is that okay? Do you think I'm going too fast? Like, whoosh. I don't think so. Okay. Maybe let's watch it. Okay. Okay. Approaching Halloween weekend, I have caught a um, cold. I feel terrible, but I have a blanket, a hot drink, and I'm watching Dawn of the Dead, 1978, and I'm you know I'm enjoying life even though I'm ill. So after this brief period of feeling like rubbish, I will return to the Embassy. Happy Halloween, everyone. Evening, folks. I'm feeling a little bit better now, but for the first time, I've watched the whole animation from beginning to end. And I'm so excited. It just seems to have come together so well and when you add the music and the sound effects it really just brings the whole thing to life so much and I cannot wait to share this with you. It is the day before I release the YouTube video. I release this masterpiece of a film. Just doing some final tweaks. I'm terrified that if I just nudge the wrong sound effect in the wrong place or delete something by accident, it'll be ruined. I'm just gonna spell check the credits and then I think I'm done. I think I'll just render it, watch it through and schedule it for tomorrow. First, we're gonna make a coffee. All right, I've just finished a watch through and I believe I have now the final edit. It's looking great, to be perfectly honest. So I'm gonna render it now, watch through it one more time and then schedule it on YouTube. Here we go. Morning. Morning all. It is 10 minutes to 11 in the morning. My film is about to go live in 10 minutes. I just cannot wait to see what everyone thinks. Yeah, I'm sort of exhausted and full of energy at the same time. I'm not really sure how that works, but it does. Two more minutes to go. Two more minutes to go. Okay, I think the video is live. It's live. The video is live. Okay, we've already had one comment. Let's see what the first comment is. First nice video. Okay. <laughs> Bianca just told you that the movie is very beautiful. So congratulations, you made it. It's amazing. Well, well done. It's crazy beautiful. You're gifted.
Joshua Michael Allen Charner, New Low Temperature Techniques for Electron Thermometry and Thermal Isolation. Welcome to Lancashire. This is kind of your standard weather. Okay, so look at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> 